100.1 WJRZ with Bob O'Brien, Bob on the job, and special guest, he's coming to town very soon, welcome to WJRZ, Eddie Money! Bobby, baby, how you doing? I've heard a lot of great things about the station. And we're hearing wonderful things about Eddie Money at the Golden Nugget this Saturday. Great. I tell you, it's one thing about the Nugget, man. The, they got really loose slots. Last time I was at the Nugget, I won about $700. And that was on a penny machine. Can you believe that? Wow. Bob? Eddie won money. It'll be a great show. we got two tickets to Paradise. Take me home tonight. Think of love. Shaking. Want to go back. I mean, if you think about it, Bob, I had about 14 songs in the top 100. And we got a lot of really great Eddie Money fans out there in New Jersey. Jersey in the whole area, you know? Man, I gotta tell you. Well, I got a lot of my friends listen to your show all the time. You got a lot of great fans out there that listen to you every day. You know that, don't you? Well, well that's nice to know. Thank, coming from you, that's the ultimate compliment. Well, my phone's been ringing. My phone's been ringing off the hook saying you're gonna put me on the phone with Bob, Bob O'Brien telling me said hi. <laughs> I gotta give my girls a shout out. Eddie Money, you've made my day. And I wanna talk to you about a couple of things. Like, for example, your name, your real name is Eddie Mahoney. So, how did that become Eddie Money? Right, yeah, I was born Edward Joseph Mahoney. I was born in Manhattan and raised in Brooklyn and Long Island. But, yeah, I changed my name to Eddie Money because I took the A and the H out of Mahoney. And I might call myself Eddie Money at the time because when I was first, it was coming up back in the mid-'70s. I had no money at all. I should have called myself Freddie Food Stamps. <laughs> That's great. I thought maybe you were influenced by the name Johnny Cash and Johnny Paycheck. Right, sure, yeah. I got a chance to meet Johnny Cash. Actually, Johnny Cash did a song that I wrote called Give Me Some Water. He had it in the set that he was doing uh, before he passed away. It was a real compliment, you know? Once again, talking to rock and roll legend Eddie Money here at 100.1 WJRZ. And in one of your greatest songs, one of your biggest hits, Two Tickets to Paradise, was there a certain paradise you had in mind? Well, you know what? Besides, to tell you the truth, I had a girlfriend. I was going to uh, UC Berkeley, and I really didn't have a lot of money. I was working at J.C. Penney's as a receiving clerk. I never saw so many sheets in my life. But I fell in love with a girl, and uh, her mother would, would take her to, like, the Bahamas and the Caribbean, you know, all these different places, you know, basically to get away, to get, to get her away from me. So I actually wanted to take a Greyhound bus ride through the Redwood Forest in Northern California. That was my two tickets to paradise. You know what they say, Bob? It's not the state, it's the state of mind. It could be anything. It could be a baseball game, a football game. It could be to a roller rink. You know, I mean, it's a lovers of music. It's a universal language, and everybody would want. You included two tickets to paradise. And you're not credited on the record, but you're singing harmony with Kenny Loggins on I'm All Right from Caddyshack, right? You know, that's very true. I mean, we were label mates, and I thought they'd have the courtesy to put my name on the record, but he never really did. But a lot of people know that's me. Ah, oh, turn it up and do it. I mean, who else could that be? That's, that was great. <laughs> I love that. That was a great movie and a great song. It was it was great to be a part of it, to tell you the truth. Your biggest hit single was Take Me Home Tonight. And Ronnie Spector, of course, sings with you on the record. But I'm to understand the original choice for the other voice, for the female voice on the record, was Martha Davis of the Motels. Well, you know, I'll tell you the truth, Bobby. Martha was a very good friend of mine before she was even in the Motels. Because her, actually, her fiancé of the day was a lead guitar player that worked for me. He started working for John Lee Hooker and became my lead guitar player. But I knew Martha Davis back when she was about 16, 17 years old. A sweet out of a gallon, a very talented woman. 100.1 WJRZ with Bob O'Brien. Once again, talking to rock and roll legend Eddie Money. You're putting on some frequent flyer miles the day after you're here. You're going to Green Bay, Wisconsin, but you're here at the Golden Nugget on the 21st of May. But you don't want to play in New Jersey or play in Atlantic City. You know, back east, I got a, I got a real great tie with all the people back there. Because I'm an East Coast boy. I live in California, but my heart is really basically on the East Coast. And I I love Atlantic City. I've been going to Atlantic City with my parents since I was a little kid for the Miss Music, for the Miss America Pageant with Bert Parks. I mean, so I know a lot about Atlantic City. It brings back a lot of great memories, and i got to tell you, it, it, it's really a great venue. Uh, the, the Golden Nugget is such a great place, and the show's always been great. It's been a lot of fun. I tell you, everybody, you know, you should come tell all the fans of the great radio station, come down and do some shaking with the money, man. Tell them I got two tickets, but I'm taking everybody. <laughs> two tickets to paradise to see Eddie Money in concert. I like that. Thank you. And I understand you have some new material. You're seeking a record label at the moment. Am I correct? That is completely correct. I've got a new record, and i got a song called One More Soldier Coming Home. And a lot of the money is going, actually, to the veterans, helping the wounded veterans out. So when I do make another record, I'm not making it for me to make a lot of money. I'm making it to get back on the radio and to help out the vets, you know? He's Eddie Money, and he'll be rocking the Golden Nugget Saturday the 21st. And one final question, if you don't mind, Eddie Money. Uh, did you save a ton of money on your car insurance by switching? the Geico? <laughs> <laughs>
Geico, they're a great company, but I'm I'm all state. But you know what? <laughs> that was a, that, that was a very fun commercial. The one of the commercial was was really great. But a lot of people saw it, and a lot of young kids that didn't know where the money was really enjoyed it. And it was uh, Geico was very good to me. I appreciate that. And one more thing, Eddie Money, invite everybody to come to the Golden Nugget this coming Saturday. This is Money Man, Eddie Money with WKRZ. We're doing a great show. May, May 21st, gang, right there at the Golden Nugget. Because Dad do some shaking with me and the Money Man. And my good buddy, Bob O'Brien.